So concept 17 is getting you to look at expressions and all of the little steps that we actually do unconsciously to get to the answer and all of the properties that are happening that justify why we can get to that answer. So if you take a look at the very first one, the expression that's given is this right here. And so if you look at step one to step two, it's the same problem, but we did something different. So if you look from step one to step two, I changed the order, right? So I took the five X and I, in the negative two X and I put that together. And then I put the Y's together and I put the negative twos, the negative two and the positive two together. The property we just did there is the commutative property because that was changing order. So that's the commutative property of addition because we just moved terms around. The next one, if you're looking from step two to step three, I kept everything in the same order, but what happens is I'm grouping things together. So what property says grouping? That's the associative property. And in this case, it's the associative property of addition. And then the next thing I did from step three to step four, so we're looking, from he, we're looking from here to here. So the property I'm doing is you're always looking at the, the step before it to the step that you're currently on. So if you look, there's two things going on here. Look at what I changed from here to here. If you notice, the X got pulled out of the parentheses, and here the Y got pulled out of the parentheses, and then here there's a zero. There's two properties going on here. This is the distributive property. It's just the distributive property being done backwards. So it doesn't matter which order like you go in, it's still the distributive property. So this little first part is the distributive property. And then the next one that's happening here is look at this part. Negative two plus two, bringing us to zero. Well, that's what property says negative two plus two equals zero. Well, that's the additive inverse because you are adding opposites to get zero. That's the additive inverse property. And then now what happens from step four to step five is I'm just combining five minus two to get three X, negative seven plus four to get three Y, and then I've got the zero still. I just bring that all down. What happened there is I just did subtraction and addition. That's not really a property. So I will always give these to you. Then from step five to step six, well, what happens? Look at, look at what changes. Well, the zero went away. So what property says that 3x minus 3y plus zero will give us 3x minus 3y? Well, that's the additive identity property because whenever you add zero, you get the same thing back. Additive identity. So if that was pretty easy for you, go ahead and try two and three and see if you've got it. If you're still a little confused, tune into the video. Reminder, you do have a bank at the top of your paper that tells you all the properties. And if you try it on your own, tune back in to make sure your answers are correct. All right, so here we go. This is given. So you're looking at from step one to step two, what changed? So to put a property here, you're looking at what changed from here to here. Well, if you look at what changed, we've got parentheses around 7x plus 5y, and then down here, I changed the parentheses to go around negative 7x plus 7x. I changed grouping. That's the associative property of addition. All right, the next one. If you look at what happened next from step two to step three, you're looking from here to here. What changed? Well, what changed is this little x right here came out and I went on the outside of the parentheses. That's the distributive property. So if you imagine taking that x and putting it back in and going back up to step two, that's just the distributive property and it's just done backwards. So I pulled the x out, that's the distributive property. All right, so now if you look from step three to step four, well, what's different now is that you have this zero in here. And where did that zero come from? It came from doing negative seven plus seven. So if you add opposites and you get zero, that's the additive inverse property. 
And then step four to step five. Well, what changed from step four to step five? Well, in step five, that x up there has gone away because zero times x gives you zero. And so zero times x equals zero. That is the, the zero product property. And then from step five to step six, what happens is the zero goes away because zero plus 5y is the additive identity property. So 0 plus 5y equals 5y, that's additive identity. All right, so number three, you're going from step one to step two. Look what changed from here to here. Well, what changed is that the parentheses went away. And what makes parentheses go away? Taking that outside number, distributing it in there, we get 3x minus 12y. What property is that? That's the distributive property. All right, now step two to step three. What changes from step two to step three? What well, order changes? And what property is order? Commutative. And remember, commutative has a T in it. And so that's computative property of addition because you're changing the order of the terms, which is addition. So now what happens from step three to step four? Well, step three doesn't have any parentheses. Step four, I'm saying, you gotta do this, put parentheses around that. That's grouping. Grouping is associative property. And this would be associative of addition. The next one, from step four to step five to get this line, you're looking from here to here. Well, what, what changed? Here you have these x's in here, then you pull the x out. Well, that's the distributive property again, going backwards. So again, that's the distributive property. All right, so now if you look from step five to step six, what changed again? This zero, usually when you see zeros, that's a clue that you're gonna have a property, so zero, comes from negative three plus three, and that's adding opposites, so that's the additive inverse property again. And so then the next one, from step six to step seven, the zero x times zero, that is, again, zero product property because you're multiplying by zero to get zero. And then the last step again goes negative 12 plus zero equals negative 12. That's additive identity. So if you notice in both number three and number two, the inverse property came before the identity property. You're gonna, sign, you're gonna find that that often happens in problems like this. Typically we have to do the inverse property before we can do the identity property. So that's just a helpful Thing to pay attention to. So go ahead and try the rest on your own. Good luck.